Hey guys, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. This week I will be planning from April 8th through the 14th. And this is actually going to be a collab. This is my first collab and I'm so excited. I'm doing this collab with Rachel from Gathered Plans. And um, yeah, so she actually mess messaged me on Instagram and asked to do a collab. And I was like, uh, yeah, because I have asked other people to do collabs with me. And so far, no one has responded. So I was really happy that she asked me to do this because I'm like, yes, I've been wanting to do a collab with someone. So I'm excited to be doing this this week. Um, we came up with quite a few questions to answer throughout our video. Um, so I will be doing that most of the time instead of like talking through everything because it's kind of a long list. And um, we're kind of using the same color schemes with our kits. Um, we didn't have a kit, like similar kits to use, so we decided to just pick one that was kind of similar. So I think she's doing one that has this color scheme as well, so it's kind of like a neutral color scheme. And this is from Firefly Paper Shop. I love Allison and her sticker shop. I used to watch Allison back like years ago when she was like a makeup guru. Um, but yeah, so I'm so excited to be using this. It's just a mini kit and yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put down the glitter headers and answer the questions. Um, so the first question is, where are you from? So I am from California. I've lived in California my whole life. I recently went out of the state of California and traveled, um, I'm very much of a homebody, even like growing up as kids. My dad is terrified of airplanes, so we never traveled much. Um, well, actually, we did travel to Florida, but we went for Disney World. And honestly, I don't, I mean, technically, yeah, it counts as going to a different state. But you're in Disney World, which is like, you're in your whole, like in a whole nother world. But um, anyway, so yeah, I recently went to New York this past um september and yeah so that's the only really other time i've been outside of california and then i live in the sacramento like area um question two is what do you like in your coffee i am a coffee freak i guess <laughs> i drink a lot of coffee um i have multiple cups a day i was actually going to have a cup of coffee with this but my coffee maker Decided not to work. Um, it says to like clean the needle in my like Keurig thing. I don't know how to do that. I always have my dad do it, but he is actually asleep right now. So I don't have anyone to clean it for me so I can have coffee. Um, but I just, I usually use K cups if I'm making coffee at home. Sorry, if you can hear that, the garbage truck is like coming down the street. Um, I just do a regular K-cup. I like light roasts um, because there's more caffeine in light roast coffees. Um, and then I just put creamer. I like the Trader Joe's hazelnut creamer or just the regular creamer from Trader Joe's. Um, but I am actually, I need to go pick up some more. I just used the last of it. Um, but if I go to Starbucks, I get a blonde vanilla latte with almond milk because I cannot have dairy or else I will get very, very sick. So that's what I like in my coffee. My favorite coffee place, which is the next question. Um, I have, I mean, of course, I mean, okay. I like Starbucks and I like Pete's coffee. I go there often just because they're close to me. But if I am in like Midtown or downtown Sacramento, I go to this place called Temple Coffee. So I think there's only, I think there's six coffee shops, six Temple Coffees. Um, I just, I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. When I was in school, I would get it all the time because it was kind of right by Sac State. And now that I don't go to school, I don't have it all the time. But um, yeah, I love Temple Coffee. It is the best coffee ever. Next question is, when did you start planning? So I started planning, like officially planning in my planner, I think October of 2017 I think it was October but I first bought planner stickers September 2017 um, I just had to wait for a long time to like get my stickers so I've been planning for almost a year and a half now 
which is really cool. Um, yeah, so that's when I started planning. And I was actually planning in hourly because for me that was most convenient um, to use like for school and stuff. So yeah, so that's what I have. Um, and then the next one is how often do you buy stickers and like what, if so, like what kinds? So I buy stickers multiple times a week. Um, it's really bad. I mainly buy kits. I'm a kit hoarder. I don't know why, and I tell myself I need to stop, but I still do it anyway, because I have so many dang kits, and I don't, I mean, it's literally impossible to use them all, so, yeah, and I forgot, this is a glitch kit, so it's a little cut, the cuts are a little bit off, but it's okay, um, yeah, I buy, I mainly buy kits, and I buy mini kits a lot, just because I am a, um, white space planner so I don't want to pay double the price for stickers I'm not going to be using um, that's just how I see it okay I'm actually gonna put this here um, next question is name some of your favorite shops okay I have a lot but ones I buy from weekly are scroll Prince Co I buy from her every single week say these stickers usually from her $2 Tuesdays and um, who else do I like buy from a lot? I think that's pretty much it. I'm always getting stickers for them. GP Sticker Studio, just because she's in Australia, I like buy things in not bulk, but like I will do like big orders. So I'll wait a couple weeks and then buy from her shop. But I love GP Sticker Studio. Um, so I'm actually waiting for like a massive <laughs> order to come in um, that I bought last week. So I'm really excited for that to come in. And then, um, what do you like about the other person's planner style? So, what I like about Rachel's planning is literally everything flows. I feel like for me, it doesn't really flow much. I don't know. That's just how I feel. And I love that she, in her Erin Condren, she like puts boxes like in the middle. She doesn't like follow the box style. You'll know what I mean if you like watch her videos, but... I wish I could do that. Like thinking about it for myself to do gives me anxiety, but like I really want to be able to do that. But watching other people do it, it's like it all flows together. But for me, I get worried because I'm afraid it's not all going to match in the end. Um, and then the next question is outside of planning, what is another hobby of yours? So for me, I have been running that used to be a hobby of mine a year and a half ago but I have recently stopped or I recently started back up doing it um, because I just needed to get back in shape so other than planning running is my other hobby um, I enjoy it it's just it's I have to get back in that routine which I had lost that routine a while ago so it's been a little difficult trying to get back in that Oh no, I'm going to have to use some undo. Let me go grab some undo really quick. Okay, these next questions are actually ones that I came up. So all those ones before were from Rachel. Um, the first one that I have is, who is your planner inspiration? And when I was thinking of this, I was just thinking of like other people that I watch that like I really love their planning style and I try to plan like that. And my first one is... Um, Amanda from My Life Suck on Paper. I love the way she plans. Same with Nikki plans. And I just love watching their videos too. They're just so relaxing to watch. And watching them put down their stickers and figure out where everything's going to go. So those two are like my top people. And of course like Andrea too from School of Friends Co. I love watching her plan with me's. And um, also Lindsay from... I think it's just Lindsay plans. She has been on a little bit of a hiatus right now, but when she was like consistent with uploading and stuff, I absolutely love watching her videos. And sometimes I go back and just watch old ones just because I like watching her videos a lot. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut these really quick for my three heart checklist and then I will get back on, actually I can just answer the questions. How dumb. I can answer the questions while I'm doing this. But I just wanted to like talk through what I'm doing too. So I'm going to cut those, put those down. And for this week's work script, Clever Girl Crafts combo, I'm going to be using this. 
and this is the Sophie colorway with the silver drizzle dots and then my work scripts from Scroll Friends Co. So that's what I'm going to be using this week. But moving on to the next question, which is how many planners do you have and what kinds? So I have two planners, my Erin Condren, which I memory plan in now. Um, last year I did use it for like actual planning because I had like school and stuff. So yeah, um, that's, but now I just use it for memory planning. And I have an A5 that I also, which is this, that I use for work and other things that I already have planned going on, like any appointments and stuff like that. Next question that I came up with because, and she actually like had a question about it too, um, is the galaxy trend. Um, I, okay, I don't know if it's a trend or just like, I don't know, everyone's super into galaxy right now. Like everyone's coming, oh my God, I just ripped it. Everyone is coming out with galaxy themed stickers and washi and all that and everyone is into it. Me, I am not into it. I am not a space person. I don't like space. It honestly freaks me out if I'm gonna be 100%. Um, but I do, but I do have galaxy things. Like I have the galaxy simply gilded washies. Um, honestly, just because they are kind of like collectibles, I feel like, and I don't think I'm ever going to use them, but, um, yeah. And I, Andrea just came out with her wiggle Wednesday. That was a galaxy themed and I wasn't going to buy it until late last night. I was like, you know what? I just need to buy it because I know it's a trend that, I don't know, it's just like a collectible and I'm never going to use um, like galaxy things in my own spreads, but also I might end up using one. I don't know. I'm just really not into it. So that's what I meant by like that question. Next question is, are you in school and, or like, have you gone to school or anything like that? Any other like higher education? Um, I have already graduated from college took me literally forever but I did it <laughs> so I am proud about that um I don't like that this kind of oh well kind of matches a lot all in this one area but um you know what? I don't even know if I work on Thursday because my boss has not come out with the schedule yet and yeah because I did say I could work but usually she'll just let me have the whole day off uh, I'm going to put this down and we'll see what happens. Um, sorry, I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh yeah. So I already graduated from college. Um, I already mentioned I went to Sac State and yeah, it was fun. Um, I was just, once I got to Sac State, I was just in and out. I was not there. This might sound kind of like come off kind of rude, but I was not there to make friends. I was there to just get my degree and go. Um, but yeah, I do want to go back to school to get my master's. I do have to go back to get my credentials eventually to be an actual like elementary school teacher. Right now I do work at an after school and before school program that's like through the school district. So you do need like credits and all that to work there and be qualified. Um, so that's what I do right now. Um, but yeah, but my dream job is, which is the next question, is to be an elementary school teacher. Um, I don't really care what grade I love all the grades um so oh that is real crooked I meant to grab I'm gonna have to grab my tweezers I wanted to try and do this without my tweezers but I don't think that's gonna happen so I'm gonna have to go grab them really quick okay this actually wasn't didn't take that long to answer all these questions but I have a couple more so what is your favorite food um I love pizza and sushi. I feel like that's a very common answer to say, but those are my two favorite like foods and I can have them together. Like I can have a slice of pizza and a sushi roll for dinner and I would be 100% satisfied. Also tacos. I've really been into tacos lately too. Um, and then the last question, which is perfect. So I'm almost done putting down like the base or the base of my kit of my spread, um, is three must-haves when going on vacation for the weekend and I didn't even think about this yet I don't even know um 
what I always bring with me, well, I always bring my portable charger, so that'll be one. <laughs> um, what else do I always bring with me? I need to think about this for a second. Mm, okay, so now I know. So my portable charger, so I'm already going to include my phone because that comes with me wherever I go. Another thing, I'm going to show this on the screen. It's going to take up the whole thing. Um, I bought, sorry, it's like all wet <laughs> because it's cold. I bought this massive thermo flask from Amazon, uh, maybe like a month ago, a month and a half ago. And I have been, ew, there's like lotion on this. <laughs> I have been using this every day and I try and drink at least one and a half of these a day. It's filled right now. Um, but yeah, I got it on Amazon for like $19, I want to say. And I take it with me every weekend because I leave every weekend. I don't stay at my house. We do something or I just go to downtown. Um, and I'm always bringing that with me. So my portable charger, that. And recently I've been bringing my book with me that I've been reading, which is The Proposal. And I haven't had time to read it, but I bring it with me all the time just in case I do have time. Um, so those are the three things that I would bring if I had to go on a vacation for the weekend now so that might change in a couple weeks but those are the three things I would bring so those are all the questions I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the day by day I literally have nothing planned for this week I don't I don't know my work schedule either just because she hasn't posted it yet um, but I have my work schedule for my other job so I will just be writing down those times um, okay I did I bring a laundry sticker because I know for sure that I wanted to use this. I don't see a laundry sticker oh, though. I guess this is laundry. It looks like a laundry basket. But I want to do laundry on Monday because I will be gone the whole week or weekend. And I know I'm going to have a crap ton of laundry to do. So that is what we'll be doing on Monday. Also, I will be running Monday. I've been doing... Actually, I'm not going to say I've been doing well because I've only ran one time this week and that was yesterday and my body is so sore. So I'm going to run on Monday. I bought pre-workout and I took it yesterday. It was amazing. I need to start taking that. Today I needed a day off because my body is sore and it's still sore from when I fell. Um, when did I fall? On Monday I fell. Was it Monday? Yeah, it was Monday. I fell and I really hurt myself. So my body is just like really sore from like falling, which is, is so embarrassing. Also, Monday, I'm going to be doing a coffee run and getting Starbucks. I've been liking, I've been, does that make sense? I've been liking? No, I, I don't know. But I've been waking up early on Monday to go pick up coffee from Starbucks. So I will be doing a coffee run on Monday. And that's like the one day I've been allowing myself to get Starbucks. Um, Tuesday, I have nothing planned other than running. Um, so we're just gonna put that down. I will, actually I will put a box in just so I can fill up that area with something. That's what I did last week too and I've been filling it up. So, cool, that's for Tuesday. Wednesday, I, same thing, I only have running. That's all I got. And I don't know my schedule, which is kind of stressing me out because I like to know all the time, like what my schedule is, like right away. Just because this week my schedule changed, I had to go to a different elementary school to help out because um, they needed help. Their site supervisor is gone, so like gone for good. So they needed another teacher there to help assist them and... I had to go over there, which sucks because I did not like that school. I probably should not say this, but <laughs> it's just, it's stressful being over there. There's no structure with their program and kind of had to be kind of, excuse my language, but kind of a bitch to the teachers there because they just had no clue what was going on. Okay, Thursday, I'm going to be filming because I should have the day off. I'm going to work in the morning is what I told her I could do, um, but then I'll have like the afternoon off and then later that day um, we are going to a Giants game, another one. So we have to drive all the way to San Francisco again 
to go to the game, which I'm not complaining about. It's a Giants game. But um, it's actually my school's alumni night over there, which is pretty cool. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use another. Do I have another? Oh, I don't have another half box. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, my um, Sacramento State is having their first alumni night with the Giants, which is really cool because they never do it. And um, I'm like so excited. I wanted like a school. Is there a school sticker? Like a graduation type sticker? Um, or a car? I can use a car. That doesn't make sense though. Is there a heart? I have a heart. Um, okay, let's think about this. Let's just use the heart. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited that I'm going again next week. And I'm going tomorrow too, which is Friday. Um, also, on Thursday, my subscription is due for the Glam Planner. I am subscribed to her... Um, mystery kit and I am so happy I'm finally subscribed to her mystery kit I've been meaning to subscribe for a while and then on Friday it's payday which is super exciting uh this is cut really weird it would like cut through the paper that's odd okay I'm gonna put this washi down for payday oh I didn't realize these match okay and then oh you can't even really like oh there we go it's hard to see um friday i'm also going to run let me put another sticker down from magic prince co and then we might have a date night i brought out the date night stickers because i was going to tell my boyfriend i wanted to do a date night Oh, that's what I have to do on Tuesday. Okay, so let me put down this box. Oh, hmm. Um, you know what? I'll just put it down here. It's okay. Um, I want to have a date night, a dinner date, because my boyfriend does not, I think I mentioned this already, that he does not have hockey anymore on Friday nights. So I want to have a Friday night and just have like a date night so Friday that's what we're gonna do but on Tuesday moving back to Tuesday I do need to go to Target um there are things I need to pick up and since I don't know why I grabbed a big one oh well um I need to pick up a couple things so I'll go to Target and I actually actually have to go grocery shopping too so I'll do that one for Wednesday because I don't have much going on on Wednesday. I only have to run. So I will have time to go grocery shopping, which is perfect. And I kind of want to use a little icon right here just to fill in that space. Um, I usually don't do that, but I don't know. I wanted to put that in there. Okay, Saturday. Um, I don't have anything oh I do have to work I don't know why did I forget to put one of my little flags so I'm working nine to five on Saturday and then I also want to do laundry but I don't have room to mark that so I will just leave it and I'll just remember that I need to do laundry um yeah perfect and then Sunday I don't have I just have to pay a bill which I don't think I brought any like pay bill stickers or anything like that so instead I'm going to use is there a money mm, I don't see any money signs I know there's one on here unless I used it already I did okay so I'll have to use it from this little icon um and then I'm gonna use that label last label from the kit and I'm gonna put it this way and Sunday is like a relaxing day which is I'm looking forward to and we have nothing going on this weekend which is so nice because these past three or four weekends we've been so busy so that is everything I'm actually going to fill no I'm not gonna fill it out I'm not gonna fill it out this week 
just because I want to wait um, to get my schedule in from work and I want to wait to fill these checklists out too. So I'm just going to snap it, snap it. I'm just going to put it back into my A5 and then I will show you guys what it looks like in there. Okay, so this is what it looks like in my A5. I, oh, I have to print out more inserts too. And this is what I've been doing this week. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for Rachel to wanting to do this collab with me. I was so excited to do one and I'm pretty sure we'll be doing more collabs in the future together. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and following me on Instagram. Um, I reached over 600 followers now on Instagram, which is really exciting for me. I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. I have been talking about it. I just haven't had the time to like put everything together. So I will be doing that sometime this week. And then next week I will be talking about it in my A5 plan with me and giving you guys all the giveaway details and stuff like that. But thank you guys again. I will see you guys next week. And yeah. Okay. Bye guys.